Hello and welcome to this video in the Emacs Byte series. This is about iteration, very basic iteration inside Emacs Lisp. I'm going to show you two constructs today for doing iteration. There are lots and lots and lots of ways of iterating over things in Lisp and in Emacs Lisp, but we're going to show you two right now, which are while and while, which is very like um, while in other languages, um, and do list, which is kind of like Emacs's for loop. Um, so we're going to start with while, which uh, is just like this. By the way, I've got smart parens turned on here. Um, we've covered smart parens installation in the less basics uh, video. Uh, I've also got uh, LDoc turned on so that we can see uh, while here. We can see the while uh, has got a test and body. And so the test is something like, oh, if x is less than 5, um, then um, something like set q x uh, plus 1 x. But we don't have an x yet. So let's put the whole thing in um, uh, a let in a local variable scope um, I used uh, slurp sec sexp there which is a smart parents thing to pull one list into another again that's a smart parents thing so now I'm going to evaluate this and we don't really get anything so um, how do we know what happened um, well, I guess we could declare a global variable, but it would be more fun to print something out. So here's a basic uh, print, and we'll put a carriage return first, and then hello. Okay, so we can see that we got hello, 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 hello. Why did we get nil on the end? Because that was the result of evaluating this expression. So there was no carriage return on the end of hello, or line v, or whatever slash n is, I can never remember. So it just spat that out. Could we do something differently? Because having it come out in the message area is a bit boring. So um, let's just switch that to come out in the current buffer. Oh, and there we get it in in here and that okay let's try it again oh gosh now we get loads so we might have to delete those all the time so another way of doing this would be to um, wrap this with something like this let's uh, slurp that sex again. Uh, there we go. So now, if we do that, it should come out into the while test buffer. But how do we know? I guess we can switch the while test buffer and see. Okay, that's great. If we use Control X3, we can split our window and um, we can go to the other window, Control X0. And then control X, uh, we don't have the buffer yet. Let's create it by evaluating. And control X B while test. Um, so now we can do that as often as we like. Okay. So while is functioning here in the way that you might expect. X is declared to be 1 while x is less than 5 then do this we increment x in the loop and what comes out is 5 iterations of whatever this thing was so we can have more complex tests here and x is less than 5 let's say we've got another variable here um, and y is less than 30 
and we'll do set Q uh, Y plus 10 Y. Ooh, <laughs> it's easy, for, easy to forget things like that. And let's make that this buffer clearer. Um, we can see what's going on. So now we only get two values because y, um, it, when it gets to 20, another 10 would break that condition. So we could also use or in which case we'll go back to getting the five. So that's completely normal, um, just like everything else. The kind of fun thing is really how we dealt with the output with Emacs into this kind of uh, scratch buffer. Okay, let's look at uh, do list. And to make do list work, we need to have we can see down here we need a var and a list and a result. Okay, var, let's say it's v, and um, a list, so let's have one, two, three, and a result. Okay, that's x, and then a body, um, and you can see that. Uh, the body means a set of expressions because it goes dot dot dot. Um, so the body would be uh, I don't know times ten x. Big error. What have we? How have we made a mistake there? If we go and look at the L doc here, we can see there's an embedded list here around the wrappers. Let's go and look at whiles here. There's no embedded list there. That's just test, which would be this part, and body, which would be this part. But for do list, we've got var list and result inside another list. What that means is that we have to wrap this inside another list. So uh, let's go and look at the function documentation for do list. Uh, loop over a list, evaluate body with var bound to each car from the list, the head of the list, in turn. So it's going to pop the value off the top of the list, pop, assign it to var, and then evaluate body. At the end, if result is set, then that's what will return. So let's wrap this in another local scope. We're just going to declare v as being a local variable. If we don't assign a value, we don't have to, there's no need to um, have a, another um, bracket. v on its own is the same as that. So. Uh, we're going to do list and assign um, x and return v. So x will be each member of the list and v will be what we return in the end. Now what are we going to do? We're going to add to list v And we're going to do times 10x. And what we get back is 30, 20, 10. So you can see that that is um, the result that's somehow result related to the result here. And let's work out why it's backwards. So for that, we'd have to go and look at what add to list does. And let's just make some more lists v. Add to list v and the element 10. 
let's copy that. So you can see that add to list just adds to the front of the list. So when we run this, the first iteration, it adds times 10 of 1. The second iteration, it adds times 10 of 2 to the front of the list. The third iteration, it adds times 10 to 3 to the front of the list, and thus we get 30, 20, 10. So this is very basic iteration with a while loop, with a for loop, how to get some values out, how to do some printing. Clearly we could print in here as well. Uh, with current. Wouldn't it be easier to go and copy this line? So now if we say we'll change to the wild test buffer again. And there we are. Something perhaps more interesting is to spit out not a string but x. And there we can see that x is 1, 2, 3 in sequence. Okay, that's iteration. Very basic introduction to iteration. There'll be other episodes on iteration. Um, including functional mapping. Thanks very much.